Hello, Paul Chapman here, and welcome to the fourth in my introductory series of tutorials on the Word Bible software. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a great little feature of the Word called the List. The List is used to uh, store Bible verses that you've uh, been uh, reading and would like to use for future reference in perhaps a Bible study or a sermon or uh, just for a general reference later on. Um, it might be a particular topical study you're doing, maybe it's on the Word Love for argument's sake in the Bible search view, how do we get those verses to appear in a list? Well, let's go across first to the list itself. Over up here in our Bible view window, you'll see uh, the title uh, bar here listing the titles of the modules I have open. Just to the left of these, the very far left there, you have the word list. Let's click on there and you can see now the list has nothing in there, just some instructions about how to get verses across and we're going to uh, do that uh, today for you. Alright, so how do I do that? How do I get some verses across to my list that I can then uh, save for future reference uh, for Bible studies or sermons? Well, I can do it a couple of different ways. Um, I'm going to do it firstly from the Bible search view. Let's do a Bible search on the word love for argument's sake. This might be a topical study I'm doing. And uh, there you have, I have some few verses here now. How do I get a, a verse across? If I come over to the Bible uh, reference column here in my search view, and I click on that Bible reference, and I can now drag that across into my verse list window. Well, if I come across, drag it across into the Bible view window, it appears straight away in my verse list. Again, I can click on another reference, this one here from Exodus, clicking on it in my Bible search view, dragging it, dragging it across to my Bible view, letting the mouse go, and there it is now. Doing that for a number of verses there, let's go down, let's grab one here from a Song of Solomon. I like that one. Let's go down to uh, Zechariah, I get one from there. Let's uh, go to the New Testament and get a couple here from the New Testament. I like that one there, John 15, and uh, maybe some here from the uh, Epistles of Paul, one there. Corinthians and uh, another one here from Ephesians. So there you have it. So some quick ways of getting the Bible verses across into my verse list from the Bible search I've been doing. Now let's say I haven't been doing a Bible search but I do know there are a few verses I want to bring across here very quickly. I know where the references are. I can quickly use my Bible tree for that purpose. I can call up a verse, let's say Romans 3.23. I can scroll down using my slider bar here to Romans chapter 3 and I can click on verse uh, 23 and holding the mouse button down drag it across and the verse now appears in my verse list. I can do that again also with entire chapters. So let's say I like to get the entire chapter on love from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 holding the mouse button down dragging it across and there you have it, the entire chapter is now dragged across into my verse list. Now I can uh, save that list by clicking this save icon. I'm going to do that, give the list a name, My uh, Sermon on Love. Okay, there we have it. Now, I might think, well, there's a couple of other references I'd like to put in there as well, and, and the Bible tree may not be open, but I've got my mouse cursor here. You can see just below this library icon, that's the red icon there, so that's the library icon uh, for the, all the lists you have uh, saved in the past in your um, uh, library of lists here. If I click on that, down pops a list of uh, previous uh, rather down a list of previous lists, a column of previous lists, and you can see there some of the uh, lists I've saved. I click on any of those, I can bring up that list of verses that I've saved previously, and I can continue working with that. Well, right now, I want to go back to my Sermon on Love. If I can do that through, through the drop-down arrow over here. I can now quickly add another verse to that by clicking this Add a Verse to the Reference List icon, and we can add, let's argument's sake, let's add John... Uh, 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. There we go. And uh, I can also add a list by using this drop down arrow. It again brings out a column view, five columns of the books of the Bible, hovering over a book. Uh, bring, brings me the chapters popping out there, hovering over a chapter, out pops the verses. I can then click on a verse to give you an idea of other ways of adding verses there. Now, I might be also reading through the Bible. And as I'm uh, reading through, yes, I like that 
verse there, husbands love your wives. I can click right click on that verse and I can scroll uh, scroll down to this menu item here, add to current verse list. Yes, I want to do that. And now Ephesians 5.25 gets added there at the bottom of my verse list. I also can do that another quick way of just by hitting control L. So it might be another reference from somewhere reading through the Bible and maybe like this one here. I can hit control L and that verse now appears at the bottom of my verse list. A couple of different ways there, just through the Bible view of bringing verses across to your verse list. Now I'm happy with that, so I'm going to save it. And I want to share with you a couple of other things about what this uh, list, what you can do with it before you um, bring it across to your word processor. We can display it in columns. And if you come down here to these icons here, I can display it in columns, uh, two column display. I can also uh, copy the list as is, copy the verse references, or copy the list to create one with a new name. And if I do that, I might want to uh, save it uh, with a new name, my sermon on love um, and marriage. And I'm going to now expand into the subject of marriage based on my sermon on love. And now I have all my Bible verses there that I've done a lot of work on and getting them across based on uh, the word love. I can now add further references uh, regarding marriage to that list. And that's an, a now a unique new list. If you look down in my drop down list here, of lists in the library, you can see my Sermon on Love, which we, was our first list, which we've copied across, and uh, to the Sermon on Love and Marriage. So I can go back to any of the old lists and continue working with them in that way. So that might be a useful feature for you as well. I can change the list at any time by clicking this icon here, which pops up a little window where I can change the name of the list. I don't want to do that right now, but that's what I can do. And of course, these icons are plus and minus magnifying glass are simply um, display the uh, list in a larger font for me. All right, and I just right click brings it back to its default view. Again, this little icon here will print the list. It'll give me a preview of the list ready to print it out directly to my word processor. And that's quite handy to have. And this uh, last little icon, the hand icon, I can just uh, use that to scroll up and down. Useful, useful for people with tablet PCs. They can um, just use that as a touch uh, uh, feature to uh, scroll up and down. So there you have it. Now, in this verse list, I might not be happy with the order of text, so I can change that in any way. I can click on one verse, right click it, up comes my right click menu, and I can uh, change the um, or order by clicking on move, uh, up, or down, and I'll move that down. You can see it's moving down in a left to right pattern if you've got a more than one column displayed. And I can move that again. Let me move it again to uh, the next one down. There you go. Now, I may not like to use the mouse. I can also use my scroll button on the mouse. If I hold down the shift key, I can scroll that verse down to any place I wish, or scrolling the mouse button back up, and I can put the verse back up there. So there you have it. So a couple of different ways of moving the verse list around. Now, I might decide that, look, I um, don't like the uh, translation of that verse there. I think it's a better translation in the ESV. Now, I can quickly uh, right-click, view that Bible text in the ESV. I go there. Yes, I like that translation. Instead of having to copy across another verse from the ESV, I can go back to my list, right-click, and change the translation for this verse to the ESV. Wow, how about that? Isn't that nifty? I can do that for a number of verses. Look at that. Whoa. Let's change that one to the Young's Literal Translation. I like that. So that's a great little feature. So I can have now a couple of verses there that in my Bible study, I know it says it clearer in another translation. That's a quick way of getting that translation across to my verse list. Simply right clicking and choosing to change the translation for this verse to whatever of the modules I have open in my Bible view. That's the options I'll be given there. Well, I'm happy with that. I can sort it. I want to sort this, however, in... Uh, uh, canonical order so I'm going to click on right click sort the list Genesis to Revelation and now my list is sorted from Genesis to Revelation so that's another little feature as well 
um, we can also change the translations of all those verses back to uh, one Bible translation. I can do that again, right click and change them all back to the KJV version. Yes, yes I can, there you go. So there you have it, uh, a few features there of the list. I'm happy with that now. I want to bring it across to my word processor, a couple of ways, again, copy icon, copy the content of list as is, yes, I want to do that, open up my word processor document, you can see I've got a previous study here, let me scroll down a little bit and I can put my mouse on the screen and control uh, V, copy and paste into my word processor. There it is, all the verses ready for me to work on at my leisure, adding more um, information to those lists. Now that was brought across in a two column format. It's actually really a table. Uh, if I'm using the Word word processor, a Microsoft Word, it has brought it across into the Word, um, into Microsoft Word as a table, and you can work with it, treating that table as, as each one of those references as a cell. Now, let's say I don't want to have uh, it in a column format like that, I can also just bring it across in a single column format. I'm going to do Control A this time and Control C for copying and I'll bring it across to my word processor in a single column display. So let me just do that now, single column, there we have it. And that's now ready for me to work on and add uh, more uh, information to it as I desire. So there you have it, um, how to use the verse list in the word working with it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave some comments for me in the uh, comments below section and uh, I'll try and answer those questions for you in future tutorials. If you have any other features you'd like demonstrated, please let me know. I'll also try and demonstrate those for you. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, have a great day. Enjoy your study of the Word through the Word. Until next time, God bless you all.